conversation about It's Hip Hop Baby, visit our website at changeyoucansee.com. When we come back, a look at some young scholars who are preparing to rocket to the top and another group of students flying high already. Sine, cosine, tangent. If we haven't lost you yet, no, it's not alone, it's trigonometry. Trig and other advanced math classes are normally taken in high school, even college. Today, we introduce you to some next scholars participating in a program called Project Sincere. These kids are learning advanced mathematics in advance of their high school careers. And yes, it is rocket science. Who's, who's watching the rocket first? Everybody's gonna watch today. Get your mouth open. Pause. Last call is skinny. Right now, we're in uh, the, the south side of Chicago at Dunn Technology School. And uh, this location is important because, you know, this is a strong minority base. So while these guys are setting up their rocket, I need somebody else to measure out the distance of 80 feet out where we're going to record the angles for measurement. Do you guys know why we're calculating the distance? Where are we going to calculate for the rocket? We want to go how high it goes, right? Project Sincere was started two years ago um, by myself and two other gentlemen um, because we saw a lack of minorities in the engineering workforce. So we thought it was our position to go back into the community to help uplift um, other minorities to start pursuing these, these fields because it is needed for innovation. Sierra is an acronym that stands for Supporting Youth Needs with Core Engineering Research Experiments. Here's the igniter, right? So using the igniter, we're going to be able to, uh, you know how we talked about combustion with the engine? This is going to start the reaction off for the engine. We have to, you know, use the vision to, like, divide, like, the distance and the angle to see how much the measurement is for the rocket of how high it goes. We're going to do a countdown, and when you get to one, it's going to launch it. Ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. eight seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. About 62 degrees, right? So he measured 62 degrees. What are the two things we need to do to calculate our height? When we were building the rockets, we learned uh, how to use the altitude tracker, which was for the baseline uh, measurement and the, and the angle. And then we learned how to use the tangent chart to calculate uh, our measurements. Some of the terms that we use are the tangent, the cosine, the hypotenuse, the opposite, the adjacent. Obviously, we want to get students excited, you know, in, in the engineering field and, and all the different sciences. So one of the things we use is, is the rocket experiment where they're able to calculate and learn about trigonometry. Do we want to use tangent, cosine, or sine? A squared. I guess the people that actually do work with rockets have to do this type of math, too, because we just did a smaller version of it. You know, we usually target um, south side schools in Chicago and also schools on the west side of Chicago. You know, we have our underserved, we have our minorities, and also we have the females in our class. Instead of waiting till we become high schoolers, they were trying to teach us before, so when we get in high school, we already know. We thought it was our position to go back into the community to help uplift um, other minorities to start pursuing these, these fields because it is needed for innovation. Yeah, I feel better prepared. I do think that I probably will remember Project Sincere because, um, one, I will be taking a rocket home. Project Sincere organizers hope to expand the program beyond the Chicagoland area to St. Louis, Detroit, and other big cities. Now, talk about expansions. This